what is going on guys welcome back to motorfest so i did want to make a video today going over the nitro chemist set now i would say basically everybody has noticed this since the game has come out we do know the game has been out a little over three months now so most of the stuff is probably going to be founded pretty quick but have you guys noticed though how the multiply the nitro duration is only 1.5 in this game compared to the crew 2 being a 2.0 now, I'm sure a lot of people might not even realize that it's not going to be like a double the Nitro Chemist set as it was before. And you're most likely, you know, going to have double the Nitrous, you know, compared to like not having it. But in this game, though, it is going to be 1.5, which by the way, I have noticed is probably going to be the better way to do it. I would also say it's probably going to have a lot of mixed opinions on the fact that it is changed now, at least compared to how it was before. Like, you are going after a Chemist set, so it is going to multiply your Nitrous a bit. Of course, not as much as it did in the Crew 2, but that is also going to raise lots of questions as if it was overpowered before, and is it now going to be a lot more balanced here in Motorfest? Now, the first thing I did want to show, though, is going to be a Loot Digger set on the lovely Porsche 918 Silvery Edition to basically show how fast the Nitrous does go down when running a basic regular set. That, of course, is not going to have that 1.5 times thing on it. So right now, basically maxing the car out in third gear, you are then going to notice the Nitrous does go down insanely quick without a full chemist set on the vehicle, which of course, by the way, is going to make a huge difference in basically everything. Not only is it going to make you a lot faster in basically every event, it's also going to make you a lot faster in summits and PvP. Now, of course, switching over to the lovely Lamborghini Countach, I did want to show this with a full chemist set on here. By the way, do not worry about like the pure and extra pump on the vehicle. That is basically going to like give you more power on the nitrous and of course make it go up faster. Which by the way, I will be covering all of the affixed stats in the future. But again, max out in third gear here, you're going to notice how it's going to be a bit longer. Of course, the nitrous is going to go down quick, but it's not going to go down nearly as fast as not having it on the vehicle. Now, what's kind of interesting about this though is having the full chemist set back in the crew 2 before. Which on that game it was going to be a legit double the nitrous type of thing. So you did notice in many vehicles how long the nitrous did take to go down. And that is most likely going to be why so many players wanted the chemist set for everything. Like I would say in that game you really did need that set for basically every vehicle class in there. It really did not only make all the hypercars much faster. Which by the way having a chemist set on those cars made most of them do like 300 plus miles an hour with ease. And most of the Bugattis hit like 320, so having something like a full chemist set back then was probably the best thing ever. Not only for PvP, but most likely the summits. Because that way it really did give you like a bigger advantage of actually going after like many of the Platinum vehicles. And I would say farming many of the chemist sets back then was basically like the number one thing you had to do. And I would say even on Motorfest though, it's probably going to be the exact same thing. Because you are going to want to go after a chemist set because yes, it is only a 1.5 on this. Compared to being a 2.0 before, even then I still did notice a huge difference in basically every game mode. Now the next vehicle class I did want to show with the chemist set is going to be the Dragster. Which I would say a lot of players are definitely going to go after the said chemist set for these vehicles. It really does help them out a lot even though it's only going to be a 1.5 times. Now do keep in mind though the first one I am running is going to be like a base I guess you could say a random gold part setup. I funnily enough do not have any gold sets on this class besides the chemist. I somehow did not get anything even like a loot digger. I guess the RNG really is going to be like that. But I did want to show though how different the drag class is having the 1.5 compared to the regular. So you are going to notice here with random gold parts you can see how fast the nitrous does go down. And I would say for something like maybe one of these speed traps in a summit. That is definitely going to make a huge difference with your overall speed. Now we do know the drag cars are of course going to be a lot different in this game compared to like the crew 2 before. Not only with the way they do accelerate but the way they handle. Now spawning over to the exact same place as before, I'm also going to be running a chemist set on the Corvette Stingray, which I would still say to this day is probably one of the best drag cars in this game. But I did want to show this though because having a 1.5 nitrous times on your nitro chemist set really is going to make a huge difference on a drag car. Now I would say a lot of people can argue that running something like this is probably going to be useless. 
But funnily enough though, having a Nitro Canvas set on the drag car is probably one of the best sets ever. And the reason why I say that though is let's say you are doing a summit that does have a speed trap. The biggest thing with those is you are going to want to have the most power possible. And of course also having enough time to keep your speed up a lot easier. For example, before I actually had a chemist set on these vehicles, I was trying to test... What was that? What was that, was that car going off the road? Anyway, besides that, I did notice though when doing the summits with a drag car not having a chemist set on them. What is going on with this AI right now, dude? I'm confused. But I did notice though doing many of them without a chemist set on the vehicle is going to make you a lot slower than before. And of course, at the exact same time, trying to hit the speed trap objective... You are also going to be slower because the vehicle isn't accelerating as much. I did notice you can also throw the vehicle into like 5th gear. And of course hit your nitrous with that lasting a lot longer than not having a chemist set active. It's also going to make you a lot quicker in basically every single way. Now I'm sure the argument is most likely going to pop up to where I do not have to have a chemist set on my vehicle to be faster. And it's probably going to be like a crutch type of thing, but I have to admit though, having a chemist set on your vehicle really is going to be one of the best sets in the entire game by far. Like not only for like regular events, like if you are looking to just race and get money that way, but if you are looking to do summits and stuff like that, it really is going to be incredibly helpful. You're going to be a lot faster that way, especially in like grand races and summits. And I would say that alone is probably going to be well worth it. Like, for example, right there, I did 414 miles an hour on that speed trap. Which, by the way, 414 miles an hour in a summit is going to be a pretty dang high score for being like a solo player. If you are looking to get like 440 miles an hour, you will have to slipstream at least one person. But I did want to show the exact same speed trap again, running a different regular build on the car. That is, of course, not going to be a regular like chemist set on it. So you will see how fast the nitrous does go down when actually hitting it. Now a few different factors can play into something like this with like hitting the nitrous at a certain time or like hitting it a bit later. That way you can be a bit quicker. Like for example on that run I got 367 miles an hour. So even running a regular like random goal set part build on the vehicle. So without a full chemist set you can easily still get around 370 miles an hour in a speed trap. At least, of course, depending on where that said speed trap is. Now, if you are looking to get like 400 plus miles an hour, you are definitely going to have to have a chemist set on that vehicle. And having that 30 mile an hour difference in a summit, like doing 410 miles an hour compared to 370, is going to be a pretty big difference with the overall score in a summit. So I would say having something like a chemist set is definitely going to be worth it. But I would like to know what you guys think about the Nitro Chemist set changes in the comments below. Do you think doing a 1.5 compared to a 2.4 is the best way to do it? Or do you most likely think they should have kept it like it was before?